Hello everyone. Got home with my fish. As some of you have seen from the other video, nice sized catfish. Didn't have my scale with me out there at the river, but I got it here at home. And it is about three and a half pounds. Pretty nice sized catfish there for this early in the season. But this video is how I clean the fish. So before we get started here, you know, you all want to have a bowl of water. Everybody knows that. I've got two different fillet knives that I'll be using on this one, and I'll explain things later. But first things first, Joe's Neon, here to see you, man. Alrighty. This fillet knife, it's a little bit duller. It works a little bit better for what how I do things. If you can come over here, babe. Yes, my lovely assistant is behind the camera. Stop. But what I do, you find the dorsal fin here, or dorsal bone. It's that hard protrusion. I just like cutting right down the backbone here. Down to the down to the backbone, and then I will follow it down on down the backbone. Yes, you're gonna move. I don't bleed my fish out like some of you might. Everybody has their own way of doing it. This is just my way, just to show you that there are other ways to do things. And I'll go ahead and bring that right on down to the tail. I will not cut through the skin on the tail. Okay. So, from the backbone, since I followed the rib cage on these bigger fish, I will just follow that rib cage and fillet out this piece of meat. A little tedious, a little time consuming. I could cut through the rib cage. I don't really feel like it. I don't like dulling my knives up that much. Everybody has their own way, of course. And I'm not real particular on saving belly meat. I don't find the taste of the belly meat that pleasing. So I just go ahead and avoid it. But everybody has their own taste again. You know, it's to each their own. This is my way of doing things. But I followed the, that rib cage right on down. Didn't leave very much meat there on that at all. The skin is a little bit, or the meat is a little bit bloody, but soaking it in water will take care of that. So I start filleting off the skin, using the fish to hold the skin. And peel it right off. And there is one nice chunk of meat there. Now if you notice, bringing it in a little bit closer, you do have white meat and a red meat on the filet. I will show you what I like doing with that. I've done plenty of these. I've left a lot of the red meat on the skin itself already. I've missed a little chunk of meat. Not a big deal. But I try to leave the red skin on the meat, or the red meat on the skin, okay? Put that in the bowl, then I'll go ahead and do this side. A little bit trickier working backwards here. And to some of you people that don't do much with catfish, you've got to be careful of the dorsal fin here and the side fins. I, when I was a little kid, I heard that they were poisonous or they have poison in them. I know I've been stabbed by them several times when I was a kid, and it hurts. hurts bad stings for a long time. My mom's treatment was soaking it, 
soak in the wound in vinegar and water. And that was supposedly to draw the poison out. And it hurt. So I would recommend to any of you, just be careful. Don't get stabbed by the dorsal fin or the side fins. Save yourself a lot of pain and frustration. So there he's cut off. My dog's under the table trying to get at the fish that's on the table. I don't think we want her to do that. Oops, I cut right through it there. Oh well, I'm going to chunk it up anyway. Not that big of a deal. So we just got two slabs of meat. And again, some people like cutting off that belly meat there. Like I said, I don't find it very pleasing, so I don't do anything with it. So I'll throw that in the bowl of water and grab this other piece. It's soaked for a couple of minutes. So what I like doing with this uh, fillet after I've got it off the fish, that's what this second knife is for. This knife I've got quite a bit sharper than my regular fillet knife. And that's so that I can easily cut this red meat right off the fillet. That red meat's where the fishy taste is. I'm not too fond of that. It also has a higher fat content. It gives it a greasier taste. I don't like that either. So I like trimming as much of that red meat and the fat. This white here on the top is fat. I can trim that off and I'm getting down to the red meat so I want to go a little bit deeper to get that red meat off of there okay to me it just makes the taste fish or the fish taste so much better and the sharper the knife that you have the colder the fillet is and the firmer the fillet is the easier it is to do this I usually try to do this this part of the job uh, the following day after they've soaked in the fridge overnight. It just makes it so much easier when you have a nice firm fillet to cut this red meat off. It is a little bit time consuming, but if you try this, even on one fish, you'll find the results very pleasing. So after I've got both sides done, I'll just come through here and make a V cut to cut out that lateral line. And if you want to cut the fillet right in half down the lateral line, by all means do it. The bigger the fish, the bigger the fillet, of course. You might want to have that cut down a little bit to make it a little easier cooking anyway. See right there, my V-cut ended up going all the way through the fillet. So I'll just go ahead and finish cutting them all the way through. And there is one finished fillet. I'll go ahead and do that with the other one. Get it taken care of. Get it soaking in water overnight. Bag it up tomorrow and in the freezer it will go. But that's how I take care of my catfish. Uh, like I said, 
everybody's got their own way of doing things. This is my way. This is what I found out the easiest. If I had a whole bunch of them to do, I would pull out my electric fillet knife and fillet them off the backbone that way. I only had one. This is certainly a lot quieter than a fillet knife, so I decided to use this instead of the electric. So, hope you find this interesting. If you start using it, great. If not, that's great too. You know, whatever you want to do. So, until next time, enjoy your fishing.